The first case of the day is a follow up. Age uh, 25 came to us with a diagnosis of lymphangioma. You can have a look, palpate it. It's, if you recall, we had a case where it was a hard gland last, last uh, week. And this is very soft, fluid-filled swelling. Soft cystic. No discomfort, no pain. Gradually it was increasing in size. He has occasional ear discharge, otoria left side, to this room. Occasional gum bleeding, The tongue, if you have a look, it's, there's a crack in the middle. Recurrent worms, Bush, report for that. Recurrent worms, offensive sweat, sweat was plus plus throughout the body. Sorry, recurrent worm infestation. Worm in worms. I'll pass on the report if you can have a look. It shows a question mark for lymphangioma. So irritable, can be aggressive, breaking the things. We like spicy. He is thirsty as well. He has had a family history of tuberculosis. Father had tuberculosis. Bhai there TB hai chhu. Bhai. Three generations hai One of his brothers also had tuberculosis. The swelling has come chhu ta gitte ke. Swelling has declined in size than what it was initially over time. You see, if you recall, we shared with you last day with hard swellings, hard growths, I've shared with you medicines. These kind of cystic growths respond really well with iodine group. I'm sure dad has shared with you the importance of the iodine group and iodine group of remedies work well in such a case. Now, if you look at his symptom picture, so which sided, left sided <coughs> gland, right? With offensive sweat. What is the miasm of this? Psychotubercular, because anything to do with glands is tubercular and it's a swelling, so psychotubercular. Offensive sweat, which is profuse. It can be thirsty. He, can, he has a crack in the middle of the tongue. He can be aggressive, breaking things. Arkonosh with the hood? He's saying there is a nodular growth there. It's like a fibroma in the left abdomen. Fibroma. We started in this case last year. You see, there are some mercury symptoms offensive sweat, thirsty, crack in the middle of the tongue. When you combine this with a left sided glandular affection, it is merc bin io. There are two brothers of the mercury family. One is Merck proto iod, one is Merck bin iod. When you come across gland, gland symptoms in a mercury constitution, which is left sided, think of Merck bin iod. When you have gland symptoms in a mercury constitution, which is right sided, Merck proto iod. You with me? If you open your Merck bin iod, please, in body kick.
Rubber is left sided, so R for L, and flavors is right sided. That's how you remember. Mark I Rubber, if you see the introduction, diphtheria and ulcerated sore throat, especially left side, with much glandular swelling. So any kind of glandular affections, <coughs> left sided. Look at the throat section, fossa is dark red. Stiffness of muscles of throat and neck. Look in the mouth section, all mercury symptoms. Aptha, profuse saliva. You got that? Mouth section, aptha, profuse saliva, second line. If you look in the throat section, Again, worse left tonsil. We'll often abort peritonsillitis if given frequently. As it's a deep acting remedy, it can prevent further progress as well. You're with me? So left-sided, not just tonsils, you know, do not limit your thought process that is only tonsils or mark benign. Any like these kind of glandular affections. I've given it for children, you know, with cervical lymph nodes enlarged. Cervical lymphadenopathy, left-sided, with mercury symptoms, mark benign. Right-sided, mark progeria. Right. So not just tonsils, any glandular affections, breast tumors, if it's left sided with mercury symptoms, mark benign, right sided, mark protoia. So all kinds of gland affection, if it's predominantly one sided with mercury symptoms, go for the iodine group with these two remedies. Right. We started with mark benign, 200 C. Kotota komeche baba, prothamit theke? Agdom prothamit theke? He says we started last year about 30% better since the first um, visit. We started in Feb, Feb 2022. Mark Binayo 200 was given twice and 1M has been given twice. Last prescription of 1M was in October 2022. I, I had seen him in December, boosted. Agar bade jokhon is chile December mashe, patthe ke arak tu kome chhe bolbe na ki achhe na bede chhe. I'm asking since last visit if it's same. Ten percent. Huh? Ten percent. Ki ten percent ki. Mane je December bade nahi chhe tar. Aadu kome chhe. Ten percent better since December. Ye December bade wasu chhe na. Patthe ke arak tu kome chhe to. So boosting today. You understand? Always take a score. If not a percentage, you'll get an understanding of how it's going. Even if the patient says it's 10% better, I will wait. Right. Follow him up in four weeks or six weeks, and you can judge and see if there is more changes or not. We're boosting today with Mark Binayat. Now, why did you start with 200? Because there's aggressive, destructive nature, that's why. If I didn't have gone any mentals, I would have started with 30. You understand? With the potencies, you see most of the cases where we have started with 200C, although there is predominance of physical symptoms, probably there was some anxious factor or there was some emotional component or there was nerves involved. So either of the three, if it's there, we generally go ahead with a higher potency. Otherwise, you know, it's always safer to start with the threads. These cases, if, you know, the, say the constitutional remedies failed, I would have, I would have, I'm sharing with you my thought process, what I have in my notes that what can come up later on. Tuberculinum can come up later on. Strong family history, strong past history of tuberculosis, glands are affected, tuberculinum can come in later on. Right? And the second one, you felt the gland, this is a typical gland of Lepisalba. Lepisalba, I've shared with you, glands have a certain elasticity and pliability. You know, it's movable, it's elastic, it's pliability. You recall, I think we have shared Lepisalba with you. If you look in Borica, if you have marked in Borica, glands have a certain elasticity and pliability rather than the stony hardness of cystus and calcium. <laughs> you got that everyone? Glands have a... So if my well-selected medicines fail, I'll probably think of this, but not at the moment. Based on the feel of the glands. Sometimes I have reserved the nosode for the later stages. If my well-selected medicine doesn't fail, uh, work, I have put in my notes there, it was more indented tongue, so it was more towards mercury in that stage, right? And you can always fall back to your nosodes. You know, it's not always necessary to fire your big guns at the beginning. If you have a good 
totality of another remedy. You, know, you can start with that and later on go to tuberculosis if it doesn't work. But sometimes I've seen, you know, if you start with a nosode which was partially indicated, sometimes you know your constitutional medicine fails to respond quickly enough after that. Right. So it's always better to reserve your nosodes for the later stage.